What's up, everybody? Andrew Mahone here with Tricky Jim. Going to be playing a game on BTCGO today, and I'm going to be playing with one of my favorite decks in standard format. Going to give it another shot with Vikavol Rayquaza. I just love this deck. It's very fun to play. I feel like the deck is very powerful and just is very consistent. I love Tempest GX. You just get to discard your hand, draw 10. I mean, what an incredible setup attack. I feel like this deck pretty much can do no wrong. It just... Uh, just very consistent and does what it's supposed to do almost every single game. It's very well behaved. Love it. So this deck uh, is in a little bit of a compromised situation, though, because there are so many of those buzz decks, right? So it looks like I might be playing against more straightforward buzz rock here, though, which is good for me. I don't think that I'm too terribly concerned about just straight buzz rock. So I think that we should be able to kind of just accelerate and move quickly here and be fine. So let's see, I could like Volkner turn one uh, for the rare candy that I need uh, for turn two. Uh, that's like something I could do. I can also just get, hey, what's up Iceman 406? All right, so I can go like Lele and I can get myself fan club here. And I like that, just as like a nice way to set up the deck. I want to be a little bit careful of whatever my opponent's trying to do here. Uh, but, you know, it's fine. I think that, uh, yeah, we can go there. We can go, yes. We can get a supporter card. We can get fan club. Could also get Lily. Uh, I think Lily actually seems better. Let's just get Lily. Uh, and then we'll just save. Yeah, and we'll just attach a little Lily for five. Uh, I actually like that. I have the other Ultra Ball in my hand, so, like, we're just going to hope that we draw into some things, maybe a grub in uh, naturally. We did not, but that's okay. Uh, I do have a Shining Lugia. I have Shining Lugias in this list. I think Shining Lugia is super good uh, because it just uh, helps you get, let's see, we're going to get rid of a grass energy as well. Why did I draw into like all my decks grass energy? I'm pretty sure I've got like no grass left in deck at this point. I've got three. Okay, that's fine. Uh, I think Shining Lugia is super good in this deck. It's just uh, one of those things that we have in order to help fight against those annoying um, Buzz Garb decks. I mean, Shining Lugia just trades very favorably with those. So that definitely helps in that regard. So let's see. We're trying to do turn to 190. I don't think that I quite got it. Oh, we're playing against Beast Box. Okay, so that is not expected. I didn't think that that was going to be what we were facing, but pretty cool. I thought I was playing against Buzz Rock. Pretty cool. We've got a fighting Beast Box here with the People Person. Uh, the People Ultra Beast evolves into Naginate Owl. Very cool. And they're going to be looking to sledgehammer me and stuff like that. Beast Ball, I think that is just one of the weirdest cards uh, where you get to like look in your prizes for a Pokemon. So that's pretty cool there. We've got ourselves a turn two attack, but it's not a turn two knockout. But that's like kind of fine because my opponent is not actually really accelerating all that quickly. Uh, I don't. Yeah. Oh, and we don't even need to Volkner first. So that is like really cool, actually. So let's, because uh, we got the rare candy. So let's go and just Ultra Ball away Volkner and get ourselves. Actually, this is like a little bit greedy, but I'm fine with it. You guys are fine with it. I'm fine with it. Let's just, let's go. And we're going to do this. So we're going to Ultra Ball away these. We're going to get ourselves a Marshadow since my other Lele is prized. And we're just going to go in and uh, let's strong charge first and make sure that we get our lightning and our grass. We're going to put both of those on the ray. And then we're going to hope that we get like a Cynthia off of this. That's just, uh, that's what we're doing. So let's go. We're going to hope that we shuffle draw four. We're going to limit my opponent as well. And when we're looking for a supporter ourselves, we didn't get it. But that's fine, more or less. It's still more cards than I had in my hand previously. Uh, sure, let's melt. Okay. Oh, there's two Cynthia's. That really hurts. Okay, so that's, uh, that's fine. And now we're doing like 150 damage. Not quite a knockout, but uh, I could just Tempest. I actually kind of like just using Tempest in situations like this because... Um, yeah, I'm not taking the knockout. Three, six, nine, twelve, fifteen. Yep. So let's just let's just tempest GX. It's fine. Let's just uh, shred it. Get out of here, and then we get to just have a ten card hand. Very good. 
So now this is a hand that I could work with and we're gonna try to stream one hit knockouts for the rest of the game. Do have to be a little bit careful about these buzz walls over here. Like we don't wanna really mess with those. We wanna take three knockouts and three knockouts only. We wanna knock out buzz wall, Naganadel, and another buzz wall, and that's going to be it. So we're gonna try and build up a board position that can just manage that. We're gonna to wanna to have like Guzmas in our hand. We're gonna to want to, uh, you know, cause we're gonna to have to Guzma around Sledgehammer. Like we're gonna walk right into it. We're walking right into Sledgehammer Guzma like right now. So that's just the way it is. No real way around it. Uh, that's just uh, that's just what's going on. So I don't have rare candy in my hand. I wish I could set up a second Vika Vault, but I don't really think that I have to. I could just like continue accelerating. So I think I'm gonna try and do that. Uh, I have Guzma, but we're gonna save that for later. Let's just uh, let's just strong charge real quick. I don't want to actually. Hmm. Let's see. I do want to get like bonus energy into play. Like I'm being a little bit greedy here, uh, but I just know that I'm going to have to trade. Like, oh, we got two Guzmas down. Okay, so that's that's a little tough. Uh, that's fine. I only need so many. So then we're gonna put this here. Uh, this here. And then let's strong charge, see what we got left in the deck, just one of each. So I'm gonna have to be very careful here about what I do to clean up this game. Let's see, I know that B string is a thing, so let's just hope that my opponent ain't quite got it like that. I could maybe Lily a little, is it even possible to Lily this turn? I guess I can like rescue stretcher, so I'm shuffle three back into the deck, one, two, yeah, we could do that. We can um, not escape, I can escape Rope Guzma. We're not gonna do that. I'm just gonna like start playing cards down and hope that we can like, I can Lily for one. I feel like I might want to, I'm probably gonna Guzma next turn. So let's, uh, let's just, yeah, that's fine. That actually really helps just getting the, that's the exact card I wanted to see. So when this, you know, Rayquaza goes down, at least I'll be able to energy recycler, get more energy back into the deck and continue kind of pumping along here. So that's very good cards off my my prizes as well. That's exactly what I wanted to see. We want a Ray to be able to kind of power accelerate energy into play. It would have been ideal to have like two Vika Volts up this game. It's just not really what was in my hand. I think like last turn, if I had had a rare candy in that hand or a way to easily access a rare candy, then I would have done that. Uh, and now we pretty much just win the game because my opponent just didn't hit a B string that turn. So now I think we just go Guzma onto that buzz wall and can just end it right here. So that's kind of what we're looking at. We've got two Guzmas in our hand, that's perfect. Now I can just afford to just lay this guy down. Yep, just like I can just shred my deck at this point. It doesn't matter. I've got the energy recycler in hand, so I get to accelerate those four energy, very good. Uh, and now I'm just good to go. So we just have Guzma, we're just going to strong charge again. Now we've got three Rayquazas, all good to go, and <laughs> can just, Guzma up whatever I want. So we're doing 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18, 21, 24, 27, 270 damage. Let's take out one of these Naganadels um, just because they seem kind of scary. So let's do that. Dragon Break, 270 damage, excellent stuff. 300, oops, I miscounted. I forgot to put the one grass on my Lele. And now we've got another Cynthia and a Volkner and Guzma in hand. So we should be able to just end it here. I mean, this Rayquaza does very well against GX heavy decks. It's what the deck was built to do. It, uh, you know, it just does this best. So that's that's kind of what we're here doing. And that's kind of what it is showing off right now, which is very cool. And this is part of why it just like, compared to Bulu, I feel like Bulu is just like pales in comparison. But that being said, Bulu is, you know, typed a little bit better right now. You got to admit that uh, just having no weakness is very good. And then also the deck just having access to that, um, having access to uh, Aether Paradise is also very good as well. So 
definitely another thing that Bulu has going for it. So my opponent says good game. They know that I probably have it. So I do. We're just going to bring up the Naganadel again. And we get to Dragon Break for game. So good game to my opponent, Mr. Iceman. And uh, good luck with your Beast Box deck. We are playing two Shining Lugia in the list right now. I really like two Shining Lugia in here just because it is very difficult to deal with those Buzzwall decks. Otherwise, uh, if you have to put those, or Weavile decks are like impossible. If you have to just put your, you know, your... Um, you know, your Rayquaza is into play and you have nobody else to attack with, it can be really bad. But Lugia is just so good against those Buzzwolves. Having that nice resistance is very, uh, very strong. And then also just trading, you know, you usually get to knock out one or two non-GXs for every Lugia. So you really advance the trade. You're like, you know, you're falling behind in the trade when you, uh, you know, when you have to get your GXs shrined away. And that happens sometimes too. But even if you start a Rayquaza, you can usually knock out like two Pokemon before your Rayquaza goes down. So like that's not usually too much of an issue. Let's go in here. I have a turn two, so that's very good. I think I want to Mysterious Treasure away an Ultra Ball. No, I think I want to Ultra Ball away a couple of things. I think I want to Ultra Ball away a Vikavolt and an Ultra Ball. And then I think that we are going to look for our Lele. We have it. We're going to look for our Fan Club. We have that as well. But the thing is, is that I don't have any energy to attach. Oh, but I can get it with Volkner, so that's totally fine. Okay, so let's just, yeah, let's go get our Lele. Let's get our fan club, and then we'll go from there. Now, I could uh, be very mean, and I could get, like, yes, I want to search for a supporter card. I could get myself, like, a Marsh out. I could turn one Marsh out of them, but that just seems, like, super suboptimal. I don't need to do that. Uh, I don't really know even what my opponent is playing here. I just see a Mudkip, so... Let's get one of these guys, let's get one of these guys, and we could just go from there. Uh, I'm not going to mill or anything. I could get a Shining Lugia. We could we could go that route, but I actually don't have, um, you know, I don't have the energy really required to get a turn two Shining Lugia. So we're just going to get these guys here. And then I think that I saved my Mysterious Treasure in case I want to Marsh out next turn or something like that. That is an option. So let's just, uh, let's just, pass to my you well know, let's uh, let's pass to my opponent i don't know if my opponent like what they're playing at all so we'll just uh we'll just pass and see from there next turn i'll bench the ray you know what if i top deck an energy or something and then i can mill and then you know kind of mill and then accelerate energy that way and just get more energies into play turn two might be something that we try to do which could be pretty good my opponent might just be playing like a straight up uh, Swampert deck, and I just wasted a lot of time trying to film a video. I really wanted to make, uh, I really wanted to make Swampert uh, work with like a Marowak. I thought Marowak, Marowak is just such a cool card, right? A Lolan Marowak, it accelerates two energy into any Pokemon you want. So I was trying to build a deck that used like Brooklyn Hill and Marowak, a Lolan Marowak, because uh, Brooklyn Hill because they're Cubone, and then you also. Um, you also played Swampert, right? So that you drew cards of Swampert, accelerated with Marowak, and then you just got these big Swamperts, used counter energy and stuff too, and just like took big one hit knockouts with Swampert. Yeah, that deck just like did not work at all. It just it just didn't work. It was just bad. That's okay. Sometimes you build bad decks, but I spent like 30 minutes trying to make a video about it and it just didn't work out. Uh, the deck was just a complete and utter failure. It was just, uh, it was gnarly. It didn't, it didn't work. It seemed, it should have worked better than it did, but it just, it just didn't work. So my opponent's probably going to be very disappointed because I just kind of have it. So let's just, uh, let's go get all the things we need. Uh, we're going to get both of those, and then we're going to knock out their Mudkip, and they're definitely not going to be super stoked on that. So that's cool. We got that. Very good. And then I could be, like, super high greed. Oh, I like super high greed. Let's do that. So I could, like, try to get an extra energy into play by Mysterious Treasuring away. This is, like, just this is just rude, you know, at this point. And you get the Marshadow, right? And then so now we've got Marshadow. And then we can, uh, you know, then we do this. And then we, yeah, we mill. Very cool. Okay. And we're going to get ourselves a grass, a lightning. And then we're going to strong charge twice. And then I think the hope is that we 
uh, can more shadow into like another energy since I haven't actually like used an energy yet an energy attachment for turn that would give us like an extra out I don't really want to bench this shining Lugia because then I just have like no more space for rays on um, my bench and I definitely want like one more ray at least so we didn't get the energy but that's fine we've got you know we can go get a Lele or something next turn that's all good and we're just going to continue to strong charge here I could you know I'm definitely going to drag and break this thing there's no point in like using tempest or anything like that we don't really need to do all that much damage like we're just totally cool so we should just be in cruise control here and kind of just run my opponent off the field looks like they are playing swamp polion shout out to swamp polion's deck is awesome love swamp polion such a cool deck uh just unfortunately it does just get run off the table sometimes if your opponent is going too fast you just have to try your hardest to get the deck just stabilized but it is so difficult to get the deck stabilized sometimes just because Oh, the draw is just really rough. This is a deck that really wants, like, Professor Juniper just to, like, or Professor Elm to just, like, uh, not Elm, Professor Sycamore, right, uh, in order to just, like, discard and just, like, draw into your deck and really just draw aggressively so that you can set up your stage twos as fast as possible. And meanwhile, over here, we're just kind of in cruise control, and we don't really need to do anything for the rest of the game. We just strong charge a couple times, and then we should be good to go. Now, we do have to be a little bit careful because I do have a lot of Pokemon on my bench at this point, so that is a little bit scary. I can't just be totally... Uh, you know, I can't be totally neglectful about what I got going on here. So let's see. We have we could go get ourselves, and I have some energy in the discard pile. I'm going to get myself another Rayquaza, and I could Guzma up the Piplup. Uh, but I think, like, the best thing to do in the deck is to Guzma up the Mudkip and keep them from drawing. Uh, but let's definitely, I mean, I don't want to just give them knockout either. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12... 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14. Yeah, I definitely don't want to just like give them knockout. So let's just strong charge onto a um, let's just strong charge onto a Lele. And we're just going to kind of spread the energy out a little bit and just continue kind of trucking away. I don't want to give them a knockout. I just want to continue taking away Pokemon from their field so that Empoleon just does as little as possible while continuing to just limit my field as much as I can. So that's uh, that's what we're trying to do here. And it looks like they might just be trying to buy time. Maybe they do have a Swampert and they're like Rare Candy and draw some cards. But they might just be trying to buy themselves a couple turns until they can actually attack with Empoleon. And it looks like that's probably what they're trying to do. I think that... Oh, they have Cynthia, right. So they're just looking to just literally survive another turn. So I think that uh, I could Guzma, but again, like that just doesn't feel good. Uh, you know, I'm not going to put three energy onto a Lele to make that happen. They kind of need, what, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16. Uh, so they are getting there with just one more benched Pokemon. They will get a knockout, which is a little bit scary. I think we need to start uh, strong charging to our Vika Volt, uh, unfortunately, and kind of just uh, roll with that. You know, maybe we have to take a non EX, non GX knockout. Um, and I have an, you know, I have. Um, I have uh, another Beak of Old in my hand. If I can just get a Grubbin into play, that would be good. But I want to, like, not get the Grubbin into play until next turn. So I think uh, I could Strong Charge and then go knock out their Piplup with a Lele. I could, but then if they knock out the Lele, um, then I lose four energy, which is, like, really bad. So let's just Strong Charge here onto, let's see, I'm getting close to being out of energy. Just want to strong charge onto my Vika Volt. Just kind of spread the energy around, have it in a bunch of different places. I don't think that I want to Guzma yet, uh, and I just lose an energy, which feels bad. Uh, but that's that's just fine at this point. I think I'm just accepting that we're going to 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18, 21. 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18. So two more. Yeah. Um, let's just retreat. Sure. Oh, no, cancel, cancel, cancel. I almost messed that up, yeah. Let's just Guzma and then retreat, uh, and we'll we'll just take out one of these. I think, like, giving them just multiple uh, multiple Piplups here feels bad. If they can just start to stream Empoleons, that's going to be 
really rough for me. So we don't want that. We want to make it so that they have a hard time keeping those going. And I do, I just have like a lot of Pokemon in play. Like having started the uh, Lele was kind of rough and uh, just having to get both those out. Not exactly good. So we see that my opponent's board is stabilizing a little bit. They could definitely come back. It is possible. They have the Brooklyn Hill that's not going anywhere. They are just feeding themselves every turn. And I think that does it. Yeah, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16. Yes, that more than does it. The Kakui is a knockout. Fortunately for me, I can knock out uh, in return with my Vika Volt. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to Ultra Ball and get myself another Grubbin. So, so long as my opponent doesn't uh, mess with my hand I should be okay and then I'm going to energy recycler and throw some energy back into the deck so that's uh, that's kind of what we got going on here let's uh, yeah let's ultra ball get myself another grub and I think I'm gonna get rid of the uh, the Cynthia and the shining Lugia that's fine I'm gonna get rid of those let's get my grub in and then we want to throw some energy back into the deck as well with this energy recycler. And yep, so we got one, two, three, four, five. Very good. Throw those back in. We're going to want a strong charge to the active. Um, one, two. And then let's see, do we have? We do have our other energy recycler in the deck, so that's good as well. And hopefully, you know, the Empoleon's weak to lightning, so this is a one-hit knockout. I do want to be a little bit careful here let's just let's rescue stretcher shuffle three pokemon back into the deck and then i kind of want to just lily for three here uh, i could lily next turn i could lily for much more uh, but i kind of want to have some options for next turn as far as like maybe guzmang or something like that like maybe i want to volkner next turn and I'm not going to bench another Pokemon. I want to make it as hard as possible. Also, I just, yes, getting an energy attachment this turn is very good as well, just in case uh, I need to kind of, I uh, need to accelerate and start attacking with Rayquaza again. So let's just Electro Cannon. Very good. And I have that backup Vika Volt, so we're good to go. Let's, no, not get rid of the Lightning. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, so we're cool there. Get to take that. We have two prizes left. My opponent's got four. If they take two more GX knockouts, they can win the game. But that's going to get harder and harder for them to do here coming down the wire. I am giving them just a ton to work with, though. These two Lele's and the Marshadow in play. Honestly, I thought that they wouldn't be able to draw out of the Marshadow. I never thought that this game would make it into late game. I just thought that... Uh, I thought that I was going to be able to just kind of run them off the field here early because I just know that these Swamper decks, if they just get Shuffle Draw 4 early, a lot of times they just can't respond. So that was my hope, but okay, and now they do have to go Beacon. They are finally stumbling. I knew that, especially they don't, they don't have Swamper out yet, which is just so crippling. And without Swampert out, uh, I don't think that they're going to be able to stream attackers at all. So I think that we should be in the clear to just go double Vikavolt and just end the game here. And they don't have Rare Candy. Rare Candy has just eluded them. I don't think that they've seen it all game, which is just so sad. And we got the second Vika Volt here, so now our board position is really just stabilized completely. We can go and a strong charge here. We can get those two onto the active um, and just take another knockout here. Uh, with the Vika Volt. I could also just, uh, you know, I could bench my Ray at this point. Uh, you know, at this point, it just doesn't really matter. I've got enough energy in play to make pretty much whatever I want to work work. Uh, but let's just, uh, you know, let's just be a little bit conservative here and not just, uh, not just waste away all my resources. So let's just uh, Electro Cannon here. And then, oh, I guess I'm it doesn't look like I'm getting knocked out next turn, so I want to kind of save my attachments for, you know, to kind of see if anything else happens. So let's let's just kind of be conservative and use this electric cannon. I don't think that there's any point in strong charging anywhere else. So uh, I could put it onto my Rayquaza. Actually, that's the only thing that I like. like. I actually like doing that. So I will, yeah, I'll do that. I'll mill a little bit. That's fine. We'll get another energy into play. And then I can... Um, 
See, I only got three energy in the discard pile now. So now I'll strong charge. I'll just put a grass onto my Rayquaza. That's fine. And now I've got energy recycler in hand. Um, I can just, you know, make whatever play I want to make happen next turn and just make it happen. So that feels fine. We're just like kind of at this point saying I only need to take one more knockout to win the game. Uh, you can't knock out both my Rayquaza and a Vikavolt in the same turn. So I'm either going to win the turn, win the game with Ray, or I'm going to win the game with Vikavolt. And the reason I decided to jam that Ray down there is because if my opponent did somehow miraculously whip up a knockout to my Vikavolt, it's possible that I might have not been able to. I mean, like maybe I, I was like would have not been able to like finish the game off. So I wanted to get the Ray down just as a kind of like guarantee that I was going to be cool. And this way, my opponent misses the knockout on the Vika Volt. Yeah, with the peck, that's fine. Then I just double, uh, I double accelerate onto the Vika Volt and just win the game there. So we'll energy recycler here our final time. Good game to my opponent. I know how tragic it is to, to love Swamp Polion as a deck because it just, uh, it just, it just does this sometimes. It does this a lot. And it's really sad. I played against, uh, you know, Natalie's uh, cousin Johnny playing the Swamp Holion deck at a League Cup, and it was just so sad. Uh, just, um, you know, how the deck just bricks like this if, if you overrun it. Uh, I also uh, played against uh, Sean Lydon playing Swamp Holion, and it was just like the fastest game, you know, ever. I started like Buzzwool. I was playing Buzzrock, and I started Buzzwool and like Beast Energy and just, just ran the deck completely off the field. So that, uh, that'll happen sometimes. But anyways, yes, I think that uh, Vika Ray is still very good. I didn't get to show off the Lugias in any of those matchups, but they are very good versus the Shrine deck. So let's go ahead and show off the list that I am working with right now. And uh, let me know what you guys think of this deck in, not this one, this is the wrong deck. Okay, yeah, we are looking for uh vika ray there it is let me know what you guys think of this deck in the comments below let me know what you guys think are going to do well at the philadelphia regional championships and as always thank you all for watching the video make sure to like the video sub the channel ring that bell check out the etsy store and the patreon stuff in the description below 